Today we're going to be making crock pot southern greens with a kick and this is a recipe I saw it on my friend Justine's blog. Her blog is called A Half-Baked Life. I want you to follow the link on this post to go to the recipe because when I saw this recipe I said I have to make this. It is going to be delicious. I just can't wait. It's going to be so easy to make. What I like about Justine's blog is she has these fabulous recipes, but they also are accompanied by wonderful stories. She's a great writer, so I know you're going to enjoy the story that goes along with this recipe just as much as you're going to enjoy this delicious recipe. So let's get started. Um, I have sauteed in a pan some onions, garlic, and the kick is going to be the jalapeno peppers, or at least that's one of the kicks. We're going to put that in the bottom of the crock pot. And I got my jumbo crock pot out for this recipe because the greens are plentiful. Okay. All right, and then next, on top of that, we're gonna add our greens. And Justine used two big bunches of greens that she got from her CSA, and that's Community Supported Agriculture. And if you have that in your um, city or your community, that's a great way to get fresh vegetables and support a local farm. I got mine from Walmart, and that's fine too. Um, you could also get greens from your local grocery store or farmer's market. You may even have some in your garden. So we're going to put the greens in. I cannot believe how many greens this is. I may have too many greens. I don't know. We'll see what we can get to fit in here. Okay, that looks like maybe one and a half bunches maybe. I'm going to put a little bit more. How about the jumbo pack? Okay, put that in there and press that down because we got some other good stuff to go in here. This is what's going to flavor our greens. We're going to put a turkey leg in. You could also use ham hocks. That's what Justine suggests. And she has a vegetarian option for you all who are um, vegetarians. Then we are going to put in three cups of water over top of this. There's our water. These greens are all going to cook down to like nothing. We won't even be able to see them at the end of this cooking process. And then this is the other kick. We're going to add crushed red pepper, <clears throat> about um, a half. I think I'm going to do a half teaspoon in there. Put that in there. So we'll season it really nicely. Okay. okay, and that's it. We're going to put this crock pot on low and let it go for about five to six hours. Don't you just love a crock pot? I do. So I will see you back in just a bit and we'll check out what the results are. Can't wait. Okay, our crock pot southern greens with a kick have been in the crock pot all day. They've cooked down. Um, I took the turkey out, the turkey leg out, and removed the bone and skin, then shredded the meat with a fork and put it back in, mixing it up with the greens. We have a nice meal. Justine suggests that you salt and pepper to taste and then serve. Um, your greens and turkey with a little balsamic vinegar. So um, I'm going to taste a little bit of this now. Try a little. Mm, that's good. Oh, and it does have a kick. Very nice. Nicely done, Justine. I hope that you will follow the link on my blog back to Justine's blog, A Half Baked Life, to get recipe details for the crock pot southern greens with a kick as well as a lot of other wonderful recipes. She's got great baked good recipes on there too for you bakers out there. So join us next week for another great recipe from another great blogger.